Okay, so in this part, let's talk a little bit about sustain and tuning of the drums. And again, we'll start by talking about hand pans. And here's the top shell to a hand pan. So the tuning of a hand pan is really complex and difficult. And because the hand pan is only one millimeter thick, they do go out of tune, especially if you press on them a little bit too hard or hit on it too hard. And if I hit on it and dent it like that, it will change the tuning. So if you're going to buy a hand pan and lay out a good amount of money for it, you should probably go the extra mile and buy a hard case for it and keep it in a hard case. Because if it gets beat on or stepped on or dropped, it will knock the drum out of tune. And retuning hand pans is no easy job. Uh, I mean, that's the reason why a good hand pan is so expensive. It's not about the steel. The shell is, costs almost nothing. It's you know, like $20 or so for the shell. It's, it's the tuning of the drum. It takes hours and hours and hours to tune a hand pan drum, to tune it properly. And that's probably the difference between the more expensive hand pans and the cheaper ones. One, the cheaper ones usually are not tuned all of that well. And two is they're made of just regular steel instead of nitrated steel, like we talked about before. Nitrided makes the sound a little bit better, makes the steel a little bit harder, and slows down the rust a little bit. So these do go out of tune, and sometimes it can be really difficult to find somebody in the area that can tune them. And of course, since they're big, they're kind of expensive to send back to the manufacturer. And when it comes to uh, steel pan drums. Steel pan drums are using one millimeter thick steel like this, and then they're cutting the notes in just like a steel tongue drum. And now you've got notes in the structure. You weaken the structure, and you've got the notes in here, which are only like one millimeter thick. And so they will go out of tune also because the thin, the, the metal is so thin on them. So you got to be careful about them because if you hit them too hard, if you hit them really hard you'll actually start to bend the note downwards because the, the metal is so thin. So you've got to play those steel pans really lightly, otherwise you're going to damage it. And even over time, because it's regular steel, they'll rust, and they'll rust. You'll, you'll put oil on the outside to keep them from rusting, but a lot of people forget that there's steel on the inside as well, and they'll start rusting on the inside, and that will also knock your drum out of tune. Now these, these made out of the barbecue tanks are 14 gauge steel, so it's a little thicker. So it's thicker steel, you get a longer sustain out of the drum, out of the note. They will go out of tune also. It just takes them a lot longer because the steel is so much thicker. So they will stay in tune longer than, than a steel pan or a hand pan. But they do go out of tune also, uh, especially if it's made from an old propane tank because the steel is brittle. And when you look at the, the brittle steel in the microscope, you'll see like hairline stress cracks throughout the steel. And so they will go out of tune after a while. Also, especially because since it's just regular low carbon steel, they will also rust, not so much on the outside because you get the painting to protect it, but on the inside where you can't see it is where it'll start to rust uh, because it's using no paint on the inside because when you weld the two halves together, it just burns all the paint off if you try to paint it first. Now our drums, Vibe drums, are made out of 13 gauge stainless steel. So they're thicker than the barbecue tank, they're thicker than the hand pan or steel pan, and they're stainless steel, which is harder than low carbon steel, and has a higher tensile strength as low carbon steel. And it's also because it's new steel, it's got more elasticity to the steel, where the steel on the old bar barbecue tanks is, is quite brittle. And if you try to bend it, it'll probably not bend, but actually break or crack. So with this thick steel, um, the drum is just not going to go out of tune. The only time you can knock it out of tune is if you try to take one of these tabs and push it way down in, and then you bend it back out again. And then it's like a, like a paper clip or something. You bend it back and forth, back and forth, and eventually it'll break. So when you bend it, it, it will stress the steel and knock it out of tune a little bit. So as long as you don't do that, which you shouldn't, 
um, it'll stay in tune. And of course the sustain is good. Now vibe drums, uh, we take tuning really serious, uh, just like a good hand pan. So we tune our, all of our drums in either 440 hertz or 432 hertz. And we tune it to what's known as symphonic or concert tuning standards. So that means the tons of drums are very accurately tuned and we tune to within plus or minus about 10 cents. Sometimes we try to get it down to plus or minus two or three cents as much as we can. Now, at plus or minus 13 cents, the human ear can't really tell the difference. So when symphonies and violins and all this stuff tune theirs, they tune to plus or minus 13 because as they play it, it will change a little bit because it's a stringed instrument. And also the heat, the humidity, all kinds of things can affect the tuning. So that's why there's a little bit of leeway on that, about plus or minus 13 cents or so to stay within the standards. And so we hand tune all these drums very carefully. We tune them to uh, symphonic tuning standards. And then after they're tuned, we play each and every drum a little bit ourselves just to make sure that they sound perfect before we send them out. So we never have issues with the drums being out of tune. We don't have any issues with notes being dead or other unusual noises or, or, or things going on with the drum. So if you're looking at buying a drum, if tuning and note purity is important to you, then make sure whoever you get the drum from that they've tuned it properly.